<laughs> All my plans for defeating the mighty Voltron and conquering planet Aris and its allies are finally beginning to bear fruit. Now that I have captured Princess Rommel of planet Polux, her people must bow to my demands. And so must her cousin, Princess Allura, my most coveted prize. There you are, my little darling. <laughs> Please go away. <laughs> Princess Rommel, even in this dark and dingy cell, you remain beautiful. <gasps> 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 Monster! <laughs> Beautiful and spirited, just like your cousin, Princess Allura. I know your plan to throw me into the pit of skulls like your other victims. Not yet, my beauty. With you as bait, I'll attract the ultimate prize. this happened? We were happy on planet Polux until Lotor came and turned my older brother into a Robies. When my father, the king, lost his mind from it all, they made my little brother, Prince Bandor, the ruler. I remember how startled I was when Princess Allura came to our planet to help us, and I saw her for the first time. It was like looking in a mirror for both of us. I felt it was the beginning of a strong new alliance. But then Lotor shattered our world again. His guards stormed our palace and carried me away to be used as a pawn in his evil plans to conquer both our planets. Bandor tried so hard to save me, but... Lotor's worse than a beast. A little water, princess? Mm. Thank you. It's cruel and inhuman the way he's treating you, and I don't know how long any of us can go on like this. It's hopeless. We mustn't give up hope. There might be a way to escape from this horrible place if we could just think of a way to open that door. You're mad. Escape from here is impossible. We need a spaceship. Oh, that's like wishing for a magic carpet. Where could we ever find one if we could get past the guards? I know. First, we build a fire. Fire! Fire! Quick sound general alarm throughout the castle. Protect the space cruisers! If they burn, Zarkon will burn us! Quick! Get in the cruiser. Ben, eat and drink with your king. Enjoy the fruits of universal power, which will very shortly be ours. Your Majesty, I must interrupt. Majesty. Speak up! Princess Romel has escaped. Captain Mogor is pursuing her. I'll get the wench back myself, and she'll pay dearly for this. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Side of the transport ship, sire. Move in for attack position. Fire blinding stun beams only. I don't want the princess injured. That 
monster is right behind us. We're never going to make it. still have control, but we're in flames. If only there was some place to land. Oh, look, there's the ice planet Neve. I think we can make it, but it will be a forced landing. <gasps> Calling planet Pollux. Calling Prince Bandor. It's Rommel. We escaped, but we're in trouble. We're going to crash land on planet Neve. She's sending a radio message to her brother for help. If the Voltron force on planet Eris picks it up, it could mean trouble. <laughs> I have a plan! Mogor! Mogor, listen closely! Yes? Go quickly to planet Neve and hold Princess Romel until I arrive! Yes, Hagar, old witch. I shall do as you command. <laughs> It's a message from Princess Romel. She's in serious trouble. Then that means she must have escaped. Yes, I've checked it. That's her ship on the planet Neve, and something's heading for it. It seems to be coming from the direction of her home planet. <gasps> Could be Prince Bandor. He must have beamed in on the same message. <gasps> Keith? There's no time to discuss it. Let's get to the lions and move out. Insert all keys and blast off! Ready to form Voltron! Activate interlocks! Dinotherms connected! Infracells up! Mega thrusters are go! Let's go, Voltron Force! Romel, we're coming. What's that? It looks like one of Planet Pollux's spaceships. Maybe Prince Bandor. Prince Bandor, this is Keith. Do you read me? Yes, Romel needs help. We're on our way to her. Please help her. There's her ship. Let's go in for a look. Deactivate interlock and disengage. I don't see any movement. Lower the port hatch. We'll take an explorer vehicle from here. Careful. It could be a trap. <gasps> huh? You little stowaway, you. He probably thought we were going off to some tasty moon. Well, tell him they're not really made of green cheese. Oh, you thought you could take over as captain if Keith got sick. Oh, why don't we give him his own lion? Oh, look at poor Cheesy. He's freezing in all this snow. He's not huh? used to it. Okay, back under cover. Well, that's one way to beat the cold.
They must have been forced down by Lotor. Hmm. Hmm? What's that? A scrap of Romel's dress. Ooh. <laughs> Romel! Romel, speak to me. <gasps> You've fallen into Hagar's trap, my pretty princess. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. It all works so beautifully. Prince Lotor will be most pleased when I return this pretty prize to him. <gasps> A horrible mouse! A Princess, what is it? Romel! You'll be safe now, sister! No, wait! That's Hagar. Cheesy saw through her disguise. The it's witch! Hagar. Magic! <laughs> yes, Hagar! With a little surprise for your mouse! <laughs> That's Lotor's happy chuckle. <sighs> I figured he'd be close by. <laughs> <laughs> He's got my cousins. Yes, Alora, and I will send them back to freedom. But for that favor, you must come to me alone. Gee, what? I don't believe you'll give anybody up. You can't bargain and trade people like animals, you creep. You have two minutes to accept my generous offer. Otherwise, <laughs> say goodbye to Romel. me no choice. I believe he really might harm Rommel and Bandor. If going to him is the only way I can save them, then I must do it. No, Princess, there's got to be some other way. What is it going to be? The sands of time are quickly running out for these hostages. Have you no compassion? <laughs> We may be in luck. There's a nasty storm coming up. Go to Lotor, Princess, and leave the rest to me. What? No! It's crazy! I don't believe you said that! You've got to trust me. There isn't time to explain. Just trust me. I trust you, Keith. <laughs> okay, Lotor, we accept your offer. She's on the way, but I want the others released at the same time. Don't worry. I made a bargain, and I'm a man of honor. He doesn't know the meaning of the word honor! Now, get out! But I warn you, no tricks. I'll be watching every move. Now go slowly, Princess. Take all the time you can. I'm ready. Princess, 
If anything goes wrong, you know what will happen. I've been patient, but my moment of triumph is finally here. No more! As soon as she gets close, send the mighty Robeast to destroy the lions! Will do. Just a little farther, sister! Now, Lotor. This magnetic attractor should draw enough snow to make me almost invisible. Now, if Rommel and Bandor just don't give me away... Good. Just a little further. Robies! Attack! Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Wow, look at the size of that robe beast! I just knew a dirty fighter like Lotor couldn't swing a clean punch. We'd better get ready to mix it up with him. Yeah! You go on and join our friends, Romel. I'm going back to Lotor. No. I've got to. I just can't let Allura give herself up to that fiend for us. You're right, Bandor, and I'm going with you. So you finally come to me, my proud princess. You don't know how much I relish this moment. De-icer switch on! <laughs> I hate to spoil your big moment, but you're gonna be very disappointed in the girl of your dreams. Ha! A contemptible trick! And now, who'll give themselves in exchange for you? Even a simple cat will offer himself for a prince, and I intend to be king. As soon as I dispose of you and my robeast finishes off the rest of Voltron. Ah! Prince Bandor, take my weapon. Your friends are in great danger from the robeast. You've got to go and help them. We'll take care of Lotor. <laughs> <laughs> He's hurt us most. He's hurt our father and brother, and enslaved our people. Listen, you two, don't be foolish. Lotor is too dangerous to take on all by yourselves. Let the Voltron Force do it. I have a score to settle for my planet. <laughs> don't send a boy to do a man's job. <laughs> take this. No, I'll take this. <laughs> He's got her. I tried, sister! We'll get her back, Bandor. Romeo! That force field's got me cold! Hang on, team. Keats in the Black Lion again. Thank heaven. Now what? Do a real number on Lotor. Ready to form Voltron. Activate interlock. Dinotherms connected. Infracells up. Mega thrusters are go. Let's, Let's go, go Voltron, Voltron Force! All 
right, let's take care of that roe beast. Watch out for his high voltage ray. He's coming fast, gang. Let's get up and at him. Form blazing sword. Okay, let's put that thing out of commission. We shouldn't have any more trouble out of that thing. Catch Lotor! I concede this battle. You have me without my support forces. You return the princess unharmed to her planet, and we're gonna follow you every inch of the way to see that you do. You dictate to me now, Voltron, but there'll be another day. We'll meet again, and I'll win. <laughs> Lotor will no doubt return to trouble us again, but we'll always feel secure with the protection of Voltron, defender of the universe. <laughs>